Today, I'm going to explain every shiny Pokemon that has meaning behind it. Ranging from shiny Ponyta actually being stronger than its regular counterpart, the shiny Aegislash being more sinister than we thought, to even the crazy shiny origin being the new Pokemon, Petrurot. Let's do this. Charizard. Shiny Charizard is based on something being charred, which usually gives a blackened appearance. You can even hear it in Charizard's name. Squirtle, War Turtle, and Blastoise. Shiny Squirtle, War Turtle, and Blastoise are all probably based on Koopas from Super Mario, since they all have a green shell. And if you didn't know, the colors for Pokemon Red and Green are based on Mario and Luigi, and the fact that there are several Mario references in Pokemon, so it is entirely possible. Kakuna. Shiny Kakuna is based on a shiny Beedrill, which is more morbid than you would think because Kakuna is based on a parasitoid larva. So that's basically a shiny Beedrill being eaten alive by a Kakuna that's inside. Beedrill. Shiny Beedrill is based on the metallic green sweat bee, which are bees that are known for not being attracted to human sweat, but rather nectar and flowers. Pidgey, Pidgeotto, and Pidgeot. Shiny Pidgey, Pidgeotto, and Pidgeot are all probably based on the Golden Eagle, along with the gold that was prominent in ancient Egypt, since they all have the Eye of Ra. Pikachu. Shiny Pikachu could very well be gold because it is the mascot of Pokemon. Raichu. Shiny Lowen Raichu is based on a server dude who has gotten a tan. And along with that, it is probably based on pancakes with maple syrup on them, since the in-game lore says that it evolves by eating pancakes. Sandshrew and Sandslash. Shiny Alolan Sandshrew and Sandslash are based on a flipped iceberg, since the bottom looks a lot more blue. Ninetales. Shiny Ninetales plays more into the spiritual form of the Kitsune, since it has a grayish purplish hue. And if you didn't know, the Kitsune is a Ninetale fox in Japanese folklore. Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff. Shiny Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff are probably based on Jigglypuff in the anime, because in the anime, Jigglypuff has green eyes instead of blue, which basically means this entire time that Jigglypuff has been a shiny. Paris. Shiny Paris is based on a red lobster, so this is basically a lobster with a parasitic mushroom on his back. So I wonder if the original Pokemon was a water type. Maybe we'll see original form in the future. Venomoth. Shiny Venomoth might be based on the original Venomoth from the Red and Blue Player's Guide, where it was originally blue. Or it could be simply based on a blue Morpho butterfly. Machoke and Machamp. Shiny Machoke and Machamp have to be based on the Hulk, because just look at them. They're green and very muscular. And before we continue with the rest of the shiny Pokemon, this video is sponsored by Persona 3 Reload. Yo, Far6XD here, your friendly Galarklar from Kepler 6 who was captured by a random 10 year old. Persona 3 Reload has changed my life because it's the captivating reimagining of the pivotal game of the Persona series. Not only has it been faithfully rebuilt from the ground up with cutting edge graphics and modernized quality of life features, but it also has a signature stylish UI. Just look at it. Oh, hey XD, I didn't know you were real now. But anyways, that sounds pretty dang awesome. Too bad I never actually played the Persona series before, where I would totally play it. Heck yeah, this is the real XD in the flesh right here. And that's no issue at all, because Persona 3 Reload is the perfect place to jump into the franchise and glark lark yourself out. You can explore the darker side of the real modern world with a boundary between the ordinary and the supernatural blur. Most games take place in a fantasy-like science fiction world, but for Persona 3 Reload, it is placed in an alternate universe within our modern day, creating a recognizable and relatable experience. Okay, you sold me, and it looks like it's a turn-based game, just like Pokemon. Heck yeah, watch this, I'm doing this devastating combo on this fierce opponent. This game is definitely a 10 out of 10 Clarisex, even on a Gob Glargan day. What's a Gob Glargan? You know what, I don't even want to know. But anyways, this game is available on the Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, Windows, Steam, PlayStation 5, and even on the PlayStation 4. It launches on February 2nd, 2024, and you can pre-order right now using the link down below. So yeah, get it today. And with that said, let's get back into the video. Victory Bell. Shiny Victory Bell is based on a pitcher plant when seen under an ultraviolet light, since as you can see, the lips on the plant turn purple. Ponyta and Rapidash. Shiny Ponyta and Rapidash are probably based on the increasing temperature of fire, with the order being red, yellow, white, and blue being the hottest, which means that Shiny Ponyta is hotter than Shiny Rapidash and both of their normal counterparts. Slowbro. Shiny Slowbro may be based on the toxic Sheldry Mist to make it stronger, or even the colors of Sheldry itself in both its normal and shiny forms. Duduo and Dudrio. Shiny Duduo and Dudrio are a pun on the kiwi bird they are based on, since the kiwi fruit is green. Gengar. Shiny Mega Gengar is based on the white ghost you see in pop culture, and could even be a reference to the white hand in Lavender Town. Voltorb and Electrode. Shiny Voltorb and Electrode are definitely based on the Great Ball, since they are literally living Pokeballs. As for their Hisuian forms, they are based on either the Hisuian Ultra Ball or the Heavy Ball, since they are living Apricorns. Execute. Shiny Execute are probably based on Golden Nuggets, especially with this NPC in the Alola region who gives you Nuggets after defeating his Shiny Execute, the biggest troll in all of Pokemon. Hitmonchan. Shiny Hitmonchan's gloves are probably based on the red and blue corners in boxing, since regular Hitmonchan has red gloves and Shiny Hitmonchan has blue gloves. 
Weezing Shawnee Galarian Weezing is based on sepia-toned photographs from the 19th century, since Galarian Weezing is based on a gentleman from that era. Chansey Shiny Chansey might be based on Dr. Seuss's green eggs and ham, or just plain old rotten eggs. It could also be based on the fact that green is a lucky color in Japan, where it stands for good fortune, fertility, and growth. And remember, Chansey's name in Japanese is Lucky, so it could make sense. Tangela Shiny Tangela is based on actual vines, since the original Pokemon is supposed to be based on Medusa, who has a head of snakes. Mr. Mime Shiny Mr. Mime might be based on an actor performing in a green screen, since they normally have to wear a suit with puff balls on them. And as you can see, Mr. Mime has green puff balls. As for his Galarian form and Mr. Rhyme, they're probably based on a classic black and white film, probably in the comedy genre like The Three Stooges or Charlie Chaplin. Magikarp The gold coloring for Shiny Magikarp is probably based on Magikarp's Japanese name, which is Koi King, or the King of the Koi Fish. And if you look closely at Magikarp's art, its top fin looks like a crown, so gold surely fits it. Gyarados Shiny Gyarados is based on how Shiny Pokemon came into existence, since its red coloring is based on a Magikarp being forcefully evolved by Team Rocket's harmful radio waves, retaining its original red coloring. Ditto Shiny Ditto is based on the colors of Shiny Mew, since they are connected in some way, with the theory that Ditto is a failed clone of Mew. Or it could be based on how water is fluid and can take on several forms. Kabutops Shiny Kabutops could be a hint to it being an ancestor of Scyther, since they are both green and have blades on their arms. Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres Shiny Galarian Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres are based on their Kryptonian counterparts, which is pretty cool. Dragonite Shiny Dragonite could be based on the movie Peace Dragon, but this might be a stretch. It could just be based on a regular green dragon. Mewtwo Shiny Mewtwo is based on aliens in pop culture, where they are depicted as green. Mew Shiny Mew may be based on the fact that all blue-eyed humans share a single common ancestor, where this random person had a mutation in their eye coloring that caused it to be blue, which relates to Mew being the ancestor of all Pokemon and that is based on mutation in itself. Chikorita, Bayleaf, and Meganium Shiny Chikorita, Bayleaf, and Meganium are all based on autumn colors. Chinchou and Lantern Shiny Chinchou and Lantern might simply be based on glow-in-the-dark toys, since normally they glow in lime green. Azrael and Meryl Shiny Azrael and Meryl are based on their inspiration, the Marimo, which is basically a ball of moss. So canonically, these are probably just regular Pokemon with shiny moss on them. Pseudo Wudo Just like the Chikorita line, Shiny Pseudo Wudo is based on autumn leaves too, but I wonder if it's also based on some kind of petrified wood that's green. Umbreon Shiny Umbreon is probably based on the saying, once in a blue moon, which aligns to how rare shiny Pokemon are, and of course Umbreon being related to the moon. Steelix Shiny Steelix is based on gold, which of course is a rare metal, just like shiny Pokemon. Slugma Shiny Slugma is based on cooled magma, which turns a metallic silver when hardened, which means that canonically, shiny Slugma are Slugma that stopped moving, since their dexterity state that they will cool and harden if they do so, so they are basically living statues. Donphan Shiny Donphan is based on a muddy tire when off-roading, so these Pokemon in particular are probably very dirty. Lugia Shiny Lugia's pink coloring is probably a reference to a psychic typing, so that it makes more sense that it's not a water type. It could also be based on the palace of Ryujin, which was said to be red and white, just like Shiny Lugia. And if you didn't know, Ryujin is a mythological dragon that Lugia is based on. Ho-Oh Shiny Ho-Oh is based on the game's Pokemon Gold and Silver, since it has both gold and silver feathers. Torchic Shiny Torchic is yellow to look more like a baby chicken, and that's basically it. Lotad Shiny Lotad is based on how Bulrush plants turn brown, and if you didn't know, these plants are commonly found near rivers and lakes. Spoink Shiny Spoink is based on an unknown Pokemon, or at the very least, a very rare Clam Pearl, because its density states that it gets its pearl from Clam Pearl, but there are no Clam Pearl that have a gray pearl. So I wonder where it gets its pearl from. Spinda Because Spinda is known to be very dizzy, its shiny colors are probably based on Vomit Green. So basically this Pokemon vomit all over itself, which is pretty gross. Zangoose and Saviper Shiny Zangoose and Saviper are based on scars caused by each other, because you can see that Saviper has red marks on his body while Zangoose has red claws, and Zangoose has blue marks on his body while Saviper has a blue tail, which is pretty cool because it plays into their rivalry. Lunatone Shiny Lunatone is also based on the saying, once in a blue moon, since it is the moon Pokemon and that the only thing that changes about it is his blue eyes. Soul Rock. Shiny Soul Rock is based on the red giant stage of a star, which is the phase right after the one that our sun is currently in. So basically, Shiny Soul Rock are older than regular Soul Rock. Relicanth. Relicanth and Shiny Relicanth are just like Gastrodon, because one is based on the Indonesian Kolikanth fish, while the other one is based on the Western Indian Kolikanth fish. So basically, these Pokemon are just different forms. Love Disc. Shiny Love Disc is probably based on the phrase, a heart of gold. Cranidos Shiny Cranidos is probably based on the gym leader Roar Arc, or just miners in general, since they usually wear red miners' helmets, which is the same color as Shiny Cranidos' head. 
Bronzor and Bronzong. Shiny Bronzor and Bronzong are based on how copper turns green when it oxidizes, just like how the Statue of Liberty turned green after around 30 years of natural weathering. So just like Soul Rock, these shiny Pokemon are probably a lot older than their counterparts too. Lucario. Shiny Lucario is probably based on the gold that the Egyptian god Anubis would wear, or it could be based on the African Golden Wolf or the Golden Jackal. Dialga. Shiny Dialga is probably based on the Time Gears in Pokemon lore, since in the Mystery Dungeon games, the Time Gears are green. Garatina. Shiny Garatina is based on the fact that Garatina is from the Distortion World, a plane of existence where everything is the inverse of the regular world. And as you can see, most of its colors are the inverse of its regular colors. Along with that, it could also be based on a holy form before Arceus banished it, but that's completely headcanon by me. Arceus. Shiny Arceus is simply gold because it is the god of all Pokemon, and how gods and religions are normally honored with gold statues. Watchhog. Shiny Watchhog is based on the reflective vest that road workers and traffic guards wear, with the neon green being the colors that it reflects. Woobat and Swoobat. Shiny Woobat and Swoobat are based on how the Adurian White Bat camouflages their offspring, and they basically cover them in green leaves that bask in sunlight, turning their bodies literally green. Fungus and Amoongus. Shiny Fungus and Amoongus are definitely based on the Master Ball. Elgem and Behem. Shiny Elgem and Behem are based on the aliens in the 1953 sci-fi movie War of the Worlds, where the aliens have different colored dots on their face. And these dots have the same colors as Shiny Elgem and Behem's fingertips. Chandelure. Shiny Chandelure might be based on a chandelier that has been turned on. Pretty basic, I know. Dino, Zwellius, and Hydreigon. Shiny Dino, Zwellius, and Hydreigon are probably based on a green war tank, since they are originally planned to look more like a tank, as you can see with the tread marks on their body. Greninja. Shiny Greninja is based on the black clothing a rogue or ninja would wear, which plays into their stealthy nature. Honej, Dewblade, and Aegislash. This is probably my favorite one. Shiny Honej, Dewblade, and Aegislash are all probably based on a sword with blood on it. Yeah, and to add to this, Honej has a destiny that states that the soul that inhabits the sword belonged to the person who was slain by it. So I guess the shiny counterparts are freshly new Pokemon that just consumed the soul. Pretty awesome. Swirlix and Slurpuff. Shiny Swirlix and Slurpuff are based on desserts with chocolate on them. Pretty obvious, I know. Clauncher and Qualitzer. Shiny Clauncher and Qualitzer are based on the rare gene that turns a lobster blue, but in their case, they turn red instead. Helioptile and Heliolisk. Shiny Helioptile and Heliolisk are likely based on a sunburn, since they both get the dry skin and solar power abilities, which damage them in the sun every turn. Dedene. Shiny Dedene is probably a pun on the French dessert chocolate mousse, where the word mousse is spelled like mouse but with two S's. Phantom and Trevenant. Shiny Phantom and Trevenant are based on birch wood, with their leaves also being based on autumn. Hoopa. Shiny Hoopa is gold like a genie lamp, like the one that you see in Aladdin. Volcanion. Shiny Volcanion is based on a yellow fire hydrant, since in some parts of the world, fire trucks and fire hydrants are yellow. Primarina. Shiny Primarina is probably based on Madonna, since it is known as the pop star Pokemon, and the fact that its name is a play on the word Pre-Madonna. Sandy Gas and Palosan. Shiny Sandy Gas and Palosan are based on the black sand on Panulu's beach. Pakumaku. Shiny Pakumaku is a pun on a sea cucumber, with the vegetable being green, just like Kevin from Spongebob. Minyar. Shiny Minyar is based on all of the colors that Minyar can be, and possibly even a meteor that contains a variety of diverse metals. Kamola. The log that Shiny Kamola holds onto is a reference to a red gum forest, which is a common habitat for koalas. Solgaleo. Just like Solrog, Solgaleo is based on a red giant too, but I think it's a little bit more apparent. Lunala. Shiny Lunala is based on a total lunar eclipse, also known as a blood moon. Naligo. Shiny Naligo is probably based on Lily, since there are a lot of hints that it is Lily, but from an alternate dimension. It even has Desichi that state that it sometimes can be seen behaving like a young girl. So yeah, it's, it's Lily. Guzzlord. Shiny Guzzlord is likely based on a white hole, since its counterpart is a glutinous living black hole. And as the theory goes, on the other side of a black hole, there's a white hole spinning everything out. So maybe Shiny Guzzlord aren't as glutinous as their counterpart. Blastophilon. Shiny Blastophon is probably based on fireworks in the night sky, or maybe even a disco ball in a club. Reboot and Cinerace. Shiny Reboot and Cinerace probably represent the away team jersey in sports, since typically home jerseys are dark while the away jerseys are light. Squavit. Shiny Squavit is based on the endangered Eurasian red squirrel, which of course is extremely rare. Rookity. Rookity is based on a bird called the Eurasian tit, while its shiny is based on the Japanese tit. No, not that Japanese tit, but the bird tit. Wooloo and Dubwool. Shiny Wooloo and Dubwool are based on the term a black sheep, which fits for the shiny force because they're out of the ordinary. Applin, Flapple, and Appleton. Shiny Applin, Flapple, and Appleton are definitely based on the green Granny Smith apple, and probably the classic green dragon depicted in medieval times. 
Cramorant. This one is my second favorite, because Shiny Cramer is based on the hilarious news story stating that a new orange exotic looking bird was spotted. But it was later found out that this orange exotic bird was just a regular old seagull that fell into some curry sauce, which is just hilarious. So basically, every Shiny Cramorant is just a regular Cramorant, but covered in sauce. Toctricity. Shiny Toctricity can be based on the Beatles wearing pink for one of their album covers, since it's based on either John Lennon or George Harrison, but this could be a stretch. Perserker. Perserker is based on the cats that Thor gave the Freya in Norse mythology, with their names being Honey and Amber. So, regular Perserker is probably based on Amber, since it has amber-colored eyes, while Shiny Form is probably based on Honey, since it has a honey-colored beard. Alcremi. Shiny Alcremi could be a reference to the Beauty and the Beast song where they say, Be our guest, try the great stuff, when serving dessert. Pinchurchin. Shiny Pinchurchin is based on the eggs that sea urchins spawn, which come in the colors yellow and orange. Zashian and Zamazenta. Shiny Zashian and Zamazenta are based on the colors referenced in their names, with Zashian having cyan and Zamazenta having magenta. Also, if you didn't know, before the 20th century, blue was actually a feminine color, while pink was a masculine color. So it fits well in the in-game lore of Zashian being the older sister. Eternatus. Shiny Eternatus is probably based on the Dynamax energy it emits, so it's probable that a shiny version is canonically a lot stronger than a regular one, since it has more Dynamax energy. Oinkalone. Shiny Oinkalone is based on a regular pig, and that's it. Tarantula. The red thread that Shiny Tarantula holds onto is probably based on the item Destiny Knot, because it looks exactly like it. Spydops. Shiny Spydops is probably based on Spider Man. Fido and Dutch Bun. Shiny Fido and Dutch Bun are based on toasted bread. Charcadet, Armor Rouge, and Cerulege. Shiny Charcadet, Armor Rouge, and Cerulege are based on the fact that the auspicious and malicious armor evolved the Pokemon, not the Shiny, which is why only their eyes change in color. Toad School. Shiny Toad School is based on your average edible white mushroom, like the ones that you put on pizza. Relor. Shiny Relor is based on the saying turning crap into gold, which it seems to have literally done with his ball of poo. Rapska. Shiny Rapska is based on how the color gold is associated with psychic powers and clairvoyance in Japan. Just like how Sabrina's badge is gold and Golduck's name is Golduck. Palafin Hero Form. Shiny Palafin in Hero Form is probably based on Nightwing, since it's based on a comic book superhero. And if you didn't know, Nightwing is the next stage of Robin in a superhero career. Flamigo. Shiny Flamigo is based on the fact that all Flamigo are naturally white and only turn pink because of the shrimp they eat. So maybe Shiny Flamigo have a different diet. Tatsuguri. Shiny Tatsuguri is simply based on more types of sushi, with his curly form resembling an eel nigiri, his droopy form resembling a halibut or a squid nigiri, and his stretchy form resembling a salmon nigiri. Screamtail. Shiny Screamtail's blood red eyes has to be based on a vampire, especially with a name like Screamtail. Brew Bonnet. Shiny Brew Bonnet is based on a great ball, but it kind of looks like the captain's Pokeball, which I covered in my One Fact Fairy Pokeballs video. Iron Thorns. Shiny Iron Thorns is based on the Shiny Mega Tyranitar from Pokestar Studios, since those Pokemon props could actually be shiny. Ogre Pond. Shiny Ogre Pond is based on an underripe fruit, since its entire body is based on a citrus shrub. And finally, we have Petcheron. Shiny Petcheron is simply based on the Pecha Berry. Pretty crazy, I know. And be sure to watch my top 10 rare Shiny Pokemon video right here.